helping people evolve. Pressure of budget and time may lead to cut down on training, but in the long term, it would prove disadvantageous to the organization. Never underestimate the benefits of empowering your staff to grow and evolve. Coaching staff. Proper training period is very crucial for employees at every phase. High standard training is essential for all organizations. Setting up training. Precise training helps ongoing performance. Broad training teaches new skills, and early training aims at planning for the future. Adding to skill sets. Intelligence-based skills and computer skills are regarded very significant in any organization. Developing people's thinking abilities help in the effectiveness of handy jobs. Utilizing many skills. Knowledge of manifold skills is very vital for an employee. Increasing intelligence of employees develops in cost cutting and time reduction. It gives them massive adaptability, along with encouraging team morale and unity. Acquiring computer skills. Computer knowledge is very crucial in any workplace. An organization should have internally linked computer system to share work and common files. Remember, invest time and resources to teach basic computer knowledge. This will aid in company growth. Mentoring staff. Training, reviewing, and counseling. These three entities play an important part for employees to interpret the rights and wrong of a job. The art of mentoring. A mentor creates connection of guidance between himself and junior. Mentor contributes to the employee's progression. Remember, mentors should examine their personal stake in the errors that take place. Guiding by doing. For teamwork to succeed, team in charge has a major role as a role model and mood settler to provide the right ambiance for teamwork. Talent sharing. Manager has to conduct on-the-job programs for the team's overall skill enhancement. They result not only in deeper bonding between the team members, but also help in skill sharing between them. Encouraging abilities. Dynamic feature of a manager's profile is to find out the people who are extraordinary and talented. They need to utilize an individual's genius. Formulating employee progression. A manager should consider his or her response to a valuable member's departure from the organization. For every key job, managers should maintain and regularly update a succession file with a list of potential successors. Cultivating managerial skills. Encourage the ideas and capabilities of employees to find out their latent talent of managerial skills. Recognizing potential. Attributes like vitality and creativity, ability to work well with others, eagerness to adopt new skills and knowledge, help to identify capabilities of employees. Training can overcome any lack of technical efficiency. Remember, aim to impart new skills and capabilities through regular learning sessions. Staff motivation. Acknowledge your employees' motives and purposes and integrate those to that of your organization in order to achieve motivated performance. Self-management. Manager needs to clearly define each job profile. This would make each employee competent enough to take complete ownership of the tasks that the manager would decide to assign to her or him. Towards growth. Contribution towards success for a company becomes higher when employee attains more knowledge and this knowledge leads to growth. Boosting group confidence. Group motivation rises under critical circumstances. Personal ambitions and interests are deprioritized over greater organizational goals, and teamwork is directed upon to obtain favorable ends. Remember, employees should be encouraged to effect change as per situation.